today we will be presenting the ppt on a web app on machine learning based uh, medical diagnosis pneumonia detection using chest x-ray next slide uh, here are the num uh, members of this group orchon onumita me and Wendrila. next here are the contents next slide uh, introduction in this project we will discuss solving a medical problem uh, that is pneumonia which is a dangerous disease that may occur in one or both lungs usually caused by viruses fungi or bacteria we will detect this lung disease based on the x-rays we have using machine learning techniques and creating a deep learning model chest x-ray data set is taken from kegel which contain various x-ray images differentiate by two categories pneumonia and normal next slide so here is the is an example of normal uh, normal on the right and an example of pneumonia patient from chest x-ray on the left the pathology in the left cannot be easily diagnosed from the right next significance of the project uh, pneumonia is a life-threatening infectious disease affecting one or both lungs in humans commonly caused by bacteria called streptococcus pneumonia chest x-rays which are used to diagnose pneumonia need expert radiotherapist for evaluation thus developing an automatic system for detecting pneumonia would be beneficial for treating the disease without any delay particularly in remote areas uh, in this procedure of employing machine learning techniques to medical images significant features are of uh, uppermost imp importance employment of deep learning models particularly cnn revealed their self potential of extracting useful features in image classification tasks the process of feature extraction demand transfer learning methods where pre-trained CNN models learn the generic features on large scale data set like ImageNet which are later on transferred to the required task availability of pre-trained CNN models like LXNet, VGGNet, ResNet and DenseNet highly aid in procedure of significant feature extraction next slide technologies to be used for developing web app, we will be using Python. We will be developing a computer aid diagnosis CAD system that uses an assemble of deep transfer learning models for the accurate uh, classification of chest X ray images. We will be using machine learning, deep learning models, specifically uh, CNN models, which are used extensively for various image classification problems and transfer learning. It is a technique in deep learning that focuses on taking a pre-trained neural network and storing knowledge gained while solving one problem and applying it to new different data sets. Next slide. From here, Orchun will continue. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. So, as we can see, uh, these are the X-ray images of normal and bacterial pneumonia and viral pneumonia. So we'll be having a data set that contains all the images uh, of the patients and we have got this data set from Kaggle. So the data set contains three sets of uh, training set, validation set and test set. The training set contains 5,216 uh, 5, chest x-ray images with uh, 3,875 images to have pneumonia and the other having normal. And the validation set is relatively small with only 16 images with 8 cases of pneumonia and 8 normal cases. And the test uh, set contains 624 images split between 390 pneumonia and 234 normal cases. Uh, we have uh, used we have used uh, VGGNet for the project but we have checked for both uh, PainsNet 129 and VGG16. So first, uh, we uh, see here the methodology of the proposed model of uh, pneumonia detection using DenseNet 121. So first, we uh, this is the 
flow chart so first we input the uh, x ray images and then we move to the pre processing stage then we go for image augmentation and then uh, we train the data set using the uh, densenet 1 uh, 21 PPT and then, then watch on ppt change the setup oh sorry <coughs> uh so next we go for testing and then we get the result uh, next slide please so this is the densenet uh, 121 architecture uh and next slide please uh so we uh, as we as i have said uh, the vgg16 model which we actually used in the project so this is the proposed model of the vgg16 first we uh, input the images of uh, the patients and then uh, we use the classification model and then we pass through the convolutional layers with activation functions and then we flatten the data set and then we have fully connected layers with activation functions again and then we stored the model and then we get the output whether it's uh, pneumonia or normal next slide please <coughs> this is the architecture of the vg16 uh, next slide so for uh, for both the models for the densenet 121 we got uh, accuracy 87.18% and uh, for vg16 we got 92% accuracy which is why we chose vg16 as our uh, for our model and for after getting better accuracy in vg16 so we have uh, proceeded with this from the next slide anumita will continue thank you arjun awesome. Uh, so now let us talk about the implementation of the web application. Uh, so the model we have chose uh, the VGC sixteen one. So it has been deployed further in a website which which is developed using Python. Uh, so that it will be easy to users. Uh, the users might be a uh, patient or doctors. So basically, what uh, they have to do, they have to. upload the image of uh, his or her chest x and then uh, the uh, model will automatically predict uh, that whether it is a normal lung x ray image or a pneumatic lung x ray image uh, this is the uh, use case diagram of the web application first the user have to uh, upload the x ray images then uh, he or she will also make the predictions then the uh, image will be processed and the image will be saved in the model after that the cnn model and the predictions uh, will happen and uh, after that uh, the user will view the result and he or she will get the actual result so this is the basically the uh, interface of our web application here we have to upload the image and after that uh, clicking on the prediction uh, option we will get the result uh discussion so basically this is uh, this is a customized project uh, basically a combination of the uh, convolutional neural network based feature extraction and supervised and supervised classifier algorithm resulted in optimal solution for classifying abnormal and normal chest x ray images uh, it also studies that the vgc16 outperform all the pretrained convolutional neural networks in the imagenet dataset and uh, studies also say that vgc16 mentions uh, the information flow of the beginning layer to the uh, all through the end layers and also the removal of redundant features by uh, some transition layers as the primary reasons and high features pretty presentations and already also uh, already mentioned earlier that the, this model accuracy is 92% the recall or sensitivity is 90% and the precision or specificity is 91% so this pre trained pages 16 cnn model performs the best uh, although uh, the results are overwhelming uh, welling but there are some limitations uh, which we have to keep in consideration that uh, the first biggest limitation is that uh, there is no history of the associated patient considered in our evaluation model secondly only frontal chest x rays were used uh, but it has been sh also shown that uh, some lateral view chest x rays are also helpful in medical diagnosis thirdly 
uh, since the model exercises a lot of convolutional layers, so this model needs very high computational power. Otherwise, it will eat up a lot of time in computations. Uh, fourthly, it is also very slow to train. Uh, then uh, the size of this model, which is the 16 model, is trained ImageNet weights, which is uh, 528 MB. So it actually takes quite a lot of this space. And uh, lastly, the conclusion. So this project is primarily aims to improve the medical adaptiveness in areas where the availability of radiotherapists is still limited. Uh, uh, it, our study facilitates that the early diagnosis of pneumonia to prevent adverse consequences including death in such remote areas. This model is developed to detect and classify pneumonia from chest X-ray images taken from frontal views at high validation accuracy of approximately 91%. Uh, in, the, in the given study, it has been demonstrated that how one can classify the true and false cases of pneumonia easily from a small data set of extra images. Uh, future scope, so uh, with increased access to data and training of the model, uh, with radiological data from patients and non-patients in different parts of the world, uh, there will be, uh, there can be significant improvements too. Uh, for the future work, the proposed work can be extended to further classify and like detect other lung cancer, uh, other lung diseases like COVID-19 or uh, other lung uh, other lung diseases or detect can, uh, lung cancer and pneumonia extra images are classifying the two diseases has become one of the major concerns nowadays uh, jupiter notebook 5 uh, pynv so uh, we have used tensorflow and uh, keras so we have uh, used these functions lambda dense and flatten so we also used matplotlib uh, matplot and uh, so the, uh, we are importing VGG16 and pre-processing put is the pre-processing stage uh, function that we use uh, for importing emote images and here we have the image data generator which uh, we use for sizing the image and uh, fitting the image into proper uh, dimension and also we use numpy and glob so this is the training path of the training data set and uh, this is the validation path of the uh, valid path of the valid we have named it as uh, valid path uh, and this we have named it as uh, train path and we are importing vgg16 here and uh, we have flattened the images in the training set using the flatten function uh, this is the summary of the model that we have generated we have used the Adam optimizer here. Uh, here we are training the data set. This uh, here. This is the training actual. This is the training part. 522 images in the training data set, and we have trained them. Uh, we have saved the model as uh, chest x-ray we have used the name as chest x-ray we load, load the model here and uh, we uh, take a image for example from the normal uh, data set from the validation data set normal pneumonia yeah. uh, no, we have two categories normal and pneumonia we take uh, uh, image from the normal folder and uh, here we uh, use the image to add a function and then we predict whether it is a, a normal x-ray or a pneumonia affected x-ray so if the result is zero it's affected by pneumonia and if it's not it's a normal x-ray <coughs> and this is the front end part of the project uh, if we run this will take some time probably five seconds yes so this is the image that we uploaded 
image.gif so here we have the upload image option and if we select for example we select the image from new one you have created we have uploaded the image and now we will be seeing the prediction affected by pneumonia so it says affected by pneumonia and we can see the result here affected by pneumonia again we try for a normal x-ray image we go for prediction result is normal it says result is normal so this is how our project has worked and thank you okay very good